Hello, uh, this is just a really quick video to show you how to take a payment. Um, sorry, it's not an official practica training video. I just thought I'd let you know how you can do it. So in your appointment book, you will need to click on the appointment that you're wanting to take payment for. You must make sure that you've got your item numbers attached to the appointment. So at the moment, there's nothing here. Um, so you'll click on this plus button to add in your appointment procedures. If there's nothing in the patient treatment plan, it's just gonna bring up this search box. If the patient does have a treatment plan, it will show you their treatment plan and you can select them from there. Um, so I'm just gonna do a, a comp exam for this patient. You can add as many codes as you need. Um, if you don't wanna click on the plus button, you can click the A on your keyboard and that's a shortcut for add. Um, so let's add in a clean as well. And then I've just pressed enter to add those in. To take payment for this appointment, we must complete the appointment. That is our assurance that we've added everything that's needed and that we are now ready to take payment. So I'm going to click on complete in this lower right hand side. Yes, it will take us through to the clinical notes. I'm just going to save and close these. You could continue editing those if you wanted to. Um, and now we have a completed appointment, which is showing a slightly different screen for us. We've got our payment screen here. If you are connected with HiCaps or Tyro, you would be able to click on these buttons here to take the payment. Um, I don't have a connection at the moment, which is why they are greyed out. Um, if you do have that connection, click on those. It will give you some options. You can claim benefit um, for private health insurance. You can claim your Medicare CDBS, um, as long as you've used your 88 item codes uh, for those particular Medicare patients, or you can just process a payment. All of those options are going to take you directly through to the high caps machine or the Tyro machine. It's done electronically, so you don't have to manually enter anything. I'm just going to show you how to take a manual payment for today. Um, so you would click on this plus button here and you've got a payment screen. Um, so we can see, we know that the total amount due is $181. It's showing down in this corner here. Um, you can select your payment option here. For example, I'm gonna say we've done a health fund claim. That will have been done manually through the high caps machine um, because we're not connected with it. I'll say they've paid 150. You can add in any notes that you need to here and we'll press save. So now the total amount remaining is $31 here. Um, do keep an eye out for if the patient has deposits. This particular patient has got a $50 credit. Um, so I can use that by clicking on the plus button, going to transfer from deposits. I've got that $50 showing here. There's only $31 outstanding, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll apply that $31 and we'll press save. The patient will still have some money left over in their deposits, but this account is fully paid. We've got zero dollars remaining. Um, we can print a tax invoice here, or we can email a copy directly to the patient. As long as they've got a um, email address listed here, as soon as we press send, it's gonna go through to them. And that's all done. Uh, now that we've pressed save on that, um, we've got a $19 in credit because we've used 31 of that deposit. And that's all finished. We now have a fully paid appointment. I hope this helped.